Hi everyone, it's Michael Majid with Sotheby's International Realty. Just wanted to give you a quick update of what's going on in the South Bay housing market and the surrounding areas. So I get a lot of questions about what's going on in the housing market. Are we headed for a crash? Is there a bubble? Short answer, no crash, no bubble, but things are changing. The market is shifting, a little bit of a pullback, some ups, some downs, but this is actually a good thing. We want to see this. So this is actually creating more of a stable housing market. Now, what's changing exactly? Well, of course, everyone knows rates have gone up. So we're now hovering around five and three quarters for a 30 year fixed. Uh, this has been priced in to mortgage rates for the last uh, you know, week or so. So it's not that uh, because of the Fed's uh, increase of uh, three quarters of a basis point that this happened. But what you kind of have to keep in mind is that this is still relatively low, five and three quarters or five and a half, this is still relatively low mortgage interest rates when compared to where we were in the 80s and the 90s. And we're looking at double digits back then. So seeing this number is still actually not bad. And then you also have to kind of keep in mind too that you were pre-pandemic around four to five percent. So it's not a wildly out of step uh, amount of rates that we're seeing right now. Um, property values, people have asked about what's going on with property values. Yeah, look, we had 21% uh, the first year after the pandemic increase in property values, 17% the second year. That's just not going to be probably happening going forward. Look, if we can get 7 or 8% out of that, which is what CAR has mentioned, um, that they're looking at probably the potential, that's great, but I think we're probably going to be more back to uh, the norm, around 3 to 5%, which again is totally fine and, and healthy within the South Bay market. Inventory is creeping up. So if we take the peninsula as an example, for the last uh, two years, we've been hovering around 30 to 40 homes available uh, per week, and actually a little bit more than that in escrow. Uh, now, what we've seen this last week is actually an inverse of that. So this is the first time I've seen that, where the inventory is actually higher than the amount of homes that are in escrow. That is another signal that the market has definitely shifted. But again, you have to keep it in perspective. So while this last week we had 81 homes available in the peninsula, you have to remember pre-pandemic, we were at 140 plus homes available on any given week. So we're still well below uh, normal inventory levels. And so that's still a good thing. So the market's still healthy. So from a buyer's perspective, some have been priced out for sure. Uh, rates are up. But from a buyer's perspective, this also means that, look, uh, you probably have less competition out there. And yes, you may not be able to be buying the home that you were looking at back in January, but there's still deals to be had out there. And if you're waiting for a housing crash or, a, or the bubble to burst, you're just really creating more problems for yourself. It's not going to happen. Don't wait. Get into it now. From a seller's perspective, how do you combat this? Well, you really need to use an agent like myself that has an exclusive network of good local agents that can put the, mar put the, put the property out before it goes on to market or the MLS. That's something you definitely want to leverage as a seller. So I've got some other strategies we could talk about from both a buyer's and a, and a seller's perspective. But if you have any questions about real estate or where the market's going in general, please give me a call. I'm always happy to help. Uh, 